Um, so we are uh, we are playing. F it's it's Thursday, and on Thursdays we always play hard mode, no pause, FTL. Uh, and we have a streak of five. And uh, JML saying it's time for a rock. I mean a mantis ship. So let's jump right in and see what we got. Uh, our last ship was a Roxy. Roxy was our last one. We've been Rock A, Crystal B, Zeltan A, Fed A, and Roxy. So let's random get the day off started off right. See what we got. Here we go. Random ship in three, two, one, and random. Oh great, NGA! I swear, was this the one that killed our twenty, our last twenty-two streak? I swear it was, wasn't it? Freaking NG ships and their unaimable drone offense. You're getting, you've been getting so much FTL content recommended to you on YouTube, and it's kind of a banger. <laughs> All right, nice. The T-Bone Jinx popping in for a few minutes between calls. Well, welcome or enjoy your lurking or whatever you got. Oh man, well I hope I have better luck than last time that we played this ship. Uh, let's see, most of my requests that I have are for Mantis or Stealth. Um, I don't have any El Nub Nubs here right now. I need to remember if I get a random El Nub Nub crew at some point. I have a YouTube request for El Nub Nub. I never remember that one. But it uh, doesn't look like I have any requests for this one. Uh, let me go ahead and get the prediction started since I'm not sure if we have Burger or anybody here to do it. All right, start prediction. Will Rand beat NG A? And if you, uh, you know, go by my history with this ship, we'll get two minutes. Uh, I might not actually be able to do it. All right, we got a couple of requests here Taters, NG, um, and of course, Grima has got to be the human. And Dot Bryce claims the last NG. All right. Dot Bryce. It's good luck to get the bad ships at the start of the streak. Once you get the good ones at the end. Yeah, but I mean, is this ship actually that bad? I don't know. <laughs> Even though I'm losing with it, that doesn't necessarily mean it's really bad, right? I mean, it's probably better to get like Stealth B or uh, Zoltan C like last time. But what's up, gamer penguins? How are things going? Uh, in life, pretty decent. In this game, we'll see. We'll see. Let's OMD on this ship, I guess. Um, so we want to get second shield and then save for a weapon, I think, is our plan on this ship. So I can have aimable offense. I would like to be able to aim my offense is the goal. Uh, the connections in this sector aren't too bad, although if I have a store up here, that might not be ideal. Do you hate this ship? <laughs> What's up, I watch FTL? Yeah. Yeah. Not my ideal ship either. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. Uh, get the drone offline, please. Okay. Okay, good. Right, at least our drone is doing something. I'm taking their dr their drones out. Solar flare. Fourteen scrap. Okay. Oh, that's fine. That should be all. That should all be workable. That should all be fine. If that spreads, he'll take care of it. Yeah. <laughs> there it goes. All right. I love when fire spread in a vacuum, isn't it? So great. So great. You guys are healed. Okay. Doors. All right. Uh, check for stores up there, then there, and then maybe go around up there. I don't know. Oh wow. Uh, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Interesting. You can beat every ship. It's better. NG runs it. Screw you over. Well, a hey, nice NG blue option. Just blaming bad RNG is the lazy way out. If I say that I only lose when I get bad RNG, that's claiming that I never make any mistakes. And I definitely make mistakes while playing FTL. It's hard on no pause. It's probably unreasonable to expect you to make zero mistakes unless you're, you know, freaking hollow shit I'm. But, uh, we can always get better, chat. We can always get better. 
Do we detect a hint of positive life events? Well, uh, my stomach's not killing me, so sure. All right, and there's our store, and I have four scrap. Uh, I guess I could sell NG Medbot Dispersal, right? How many gems do I have? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Basically, I have to go to store now. I want to go around this way. And if I don't want to backtrack anywhere. Did I get anywhere with my complaint about the car? You're guessing they didn't give me a, uh, give a rat's ass. Okay, I, I will talk about that then. Uh, I'm going to go to the store and just sell... I need to about dispersal, I think. Okay, no weapons or anything. This lets me get my shield, so that's just worth getting. Uh, I know, I know, there was... Somebody on YouTube goes, I love your content, Rind, but riveting conversation this ain't. And I think they were talking about my complaining about my car parking situation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, uh, sure, I'll, I'll talk briefly about it. I did send a strongly worded email about parking at my complex sucking. Uh, Beam Master, this is a safe fight. Uh, it's a safe fight, but I can't actually do... Can't kill him. Uh, sorry, I said I was going to talk about it, and then I immediately stopped talking about it to fight the ship. I... Drone, if you could hit, like, hacking or something, that would be helpful. Or shields. And hacking comes back up, we lose a drone part, I think. Yeah. Come on, don't, don't explode. Beautiful. Come on, come on. All right, good. Hacking's down. So I sent I sent the strongly worded email. Um, I got honestly a pretty good corporate speak reply. That's like we understand that parking is not ideal right now. We are considering our options. We are sorry that you had to deal with that. I will look into the practices of the. Uh, towing company that you mentioned. I should have moved. Actually, there was no reason to, to have any dodge dodges there. Um, and uh, in the meantime, we regret, regret to say your your best option is to park somewhere far away to not get towed. So basically, it's a corporate speak for yeah, it sucks. Sorry, we might fix it. We probably won't. So, you know. Not ideal. Get free long range scanners. I wish I could. Um, let's see. What's up, Juan? Good luck on your attempts. Appreciate it. How's it going? It's going all right. Pretty good. O2 crew kill. Uh, not with my drone hacked. I didn't want to lose drone parts. Uh, at least it wasn't a garbage response saying it was all my own damn fault. True. It was better than that. I can't really do anything at this store, right? I have. Uh, 60 scraps worth of stuff to sell. That will put me at 72 scrap, which gets me Hermes missile if I want it, but so there's really nothing here. Nothing here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm diving if we get any delays. With this ship, I would not be surprised if I if I can't stop somebody from running. The corporate way of saying F you. Honestly, for a corporate response, you could tell it was written by somebody responding to my complaint. So it was better than it could have been, but yeah, basically. Damn, if this guy didn't have mind control, this is this is safe training here. Uh, it's better than nothing. Could have ignored. True. With drone hack, you could have tried auto-firing on O2. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Uh, long time no talk. What's up, much Sully? We look into it. Also, always means they do nothing, probably. Uh, I mean, do I even try to train here? With mind control, I just don't even know if I can. Not safely, anyway. Like, if I put the human... Basically, if I had level 2 piloting, I think this would be safe. I don't even think I'm going to try, actually. I'm not even going to try. 
Um, did I restart my WoW Hardcore? Well, there's the spoiler for what happened yesterday on WoW. Yes, I did. I started a new character. <laughs> there's probably a way to do this, but I just, I don't... This is not a safe fight. If there's mind control, I can't turn on speed hack, so it means I'm not training. Basically, that's my rule. If I can't turn on speed hack safely, I don't train. Uh, could train fight and repair on everyone if it's level 1. It is level 1 mind control. I could have done that. Depends on how long you want to train. You could drop two people in the heal bay and just train one, one guy at a time. Yeah, I, I don't want to do it. I'm, I'm being lazy or... I don't want to take the time. What happened? Check the VOD. <laughs> It'll go live on YouTube later if you want to see exactly what happened. I'll tell you, I went I went down like a man on my on my warlock. I went down like a man. Not a punk. But I don't want to spoil it. Okay, he's got boarding and he's got a missile. Okay. Yeah, running is bad. Running is bad. Don't let him run, please. Okay, his piloting is down. That's good. Okay, we're good. good. Ooh, and we even get a double reward for stopping him from running. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. You mean like a gnome. A manly gnome. Like a manly gnome. Yes, we went down. Could have parked in drones, engines, or weapons. Everyone could have gotten fighting repair training without taking damage. Would have been amazing content for that dude that complained on YouTube earlier, too. Okay. Yeah, all the things I could have done to make my stream better, my run better. Thanks for letting me know. All the stuff I could be doing differently. <laughs> uh, what do I want to do here? I want to save for hacking or a weapon, right? Like, I think that's all I want to do. Just save. Yeah, we ran them NGA to start the day, Demon Hands. Death is always the answer. All right, here's our safe fight. Here's our safe fight that we can train during and then crew kill on O2 if it's level one. And um, we can get all the training. Uh, and I will cross train here. Riveting content for all you wonderful folks. Speed hack training. So riveting. Please nothing crash. Slaver crew kill. This be, could be cool. Yes, I need to make sure I don't fire at O2 at first. So after he gets trained on weapons, we can train him on shields. Now we will cross. We'll cross train everybody on everything here. Cross train everybody on everything. That'll be the plan. Alright, so that is piloting done. Engines done. Shield shields next. Actually, um, yeah, that's fine. Weapons are gonna get trained so fast, actually. Weapons will get trained before even shields do. The first time, two weapon training before we've got first shield training. That's ridiculous. All right, you go on piloting, you go on engines. Let's do this. You're getting value as much as a human can have, that's right. Such human value, much wow. It's music to your ears, the training is nice. What's up, Mike Copley? Good to see you, my friend. If I have good runs today, me too. <laughs> I appreciate it. Not my favorite ship we're playing, but you know. Getting it out of the way is always a good thing, right? So, a human only misses. Well, he misses one hit and one hit turn after it, so. Better than Stealth B. I mean, honestly, it'd probably be better if I random Stealth B. Because, uh. Probably better get that out of the way. Okay, that's. You don't have a pilot. Okay. And you don't have a Oh, Dream I didn't do that. Okay. 
for the weapons done so fast. There we go. We're gonna have three crew with four different systems fully trained after this. Genji May A always feels like a weird shift to you. Yeah. Good luck today. Thanks for the GM. Just to have shields to be done, piloting. Okay, these guys finish this, and then we can aim at O2 and see if we can kill them. Who killed them? Uh, shields are done, so you can go be on weapons. Piloting and engines are finished, and we're good. Okay, so let's. Uh, everything's done. Let's move you guys back. Start firing at O2. I want to look at sensors to see what we got over here. Okay, O2 turns gray. That means it's level one. So this should be doable. Him having a rock crew is probably not ideal. Let me just do it this way. Speed hack. There we go. All right. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow I will be a partner for half a year. All right. Our half a year anniversary of partner. That's pretty cool. Uh, definitely rock, man. Definitely rock. After all that training, where do I put the rock, man? Um, let's put you on shields, but then we'll OMD with you, I guess, is what we'll do. Do it that way, I guess, for now. If I get another training ship, I might train him on something to free up the NG. Maybe a silly device or something. Okay. All right. Uh, 74 scrap, and I'm saving for aimable offense. That's what I'm saving for. I'm saving for. I hope my options at the next door for weapons aren't only ion weapons like the last one we saw. Okay. And one shield here, actually. Okay, I think I timed that right. Beautiful. And I hit my drones. That's not ideal, though. Fire heavy laser. Oh, never mind. Just don't even fire. Great. Okay, we'll practice on the deep power. Um, Pulsar. No pause strat. My nice shield flash. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Good fight. Good fight. OMD. We're out. Beautiful. NG is one of your favorites, Gunther. It's not one of mine. It's ended at least one streak. Can you be the Rocky boy? I'll try to remember after this fight. NGA is cursed, Farb says. Yes. All right, well. We got a silly device. Welcome aboard, silly device. Bless us with thy silly deviceness. Run is blessed. And uh, who wants to be the Rock? Uh, Mega Gourmet. Is that all fit? Yes, it does. What's up, Farb? Uh, it can have such a weird mid-game sometimes. Same with Slug A. Yeah, honestly, I... Anytime I, I roll any ship that has starting drone offense, I'm just kind of like... <laughs> oh, this could go so bad if we can't get a weapon. I mean, sure, I'll take the drone parts. It's fine. Pirate or Rebel? I think we want pirate. Uh, what's the deal with stores favoring certain weapons depending on ship type? Uh, I don't think that's a thing. I think you're probably at a point now where you understand it quite well. It still feels odd. The NGA? Okay. Uh, I think we go here. We have more greens and... Yeah, it's pirate. What do you mean by you understand it? Are you talking about the NGA? Like understanding what your strat strategy is to win with the ship or what? Right, uh, I only need three nebula jumps to get all of my jumps. I get 13 if I get three nebula. So I'm gonna go one, two, that's not a store, three, four, five, six, and that will get all of our nebula jumps. Understanding how best to play it, okay. I wanna get level two piloting for man, uh, manly search. For those who ask, why you say manly search, Rand? Okay, for the manually search the nebula event, for the wreckage. Do I want this? I want it, but should I? I feel like I shouldn't. I have five crew. 
So if manly search is there, I should just go for it. I failed manly search twice the other day. And by failing, I mean I had yield bay instead of clone bay, and twice I lost the one in five to get free stuff without losing a crew. Here it is, manly search. All right, good. We want we didn't lose it this time. Beautiful. Very nice. I wonder if it's better to just be manly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Hashtag never punished. Attempt to follow them, hail them. Okay. Missile, and I have a defense drone. Hmm. Oh, shit. That is a fire. Okay, the missile's down at least. Oh, God, it's a fire. It's a fire. Completely burned down, too. God damn it. It's a death by a thousand fucking okay, okay. missiles, uh, man. Extra positions. Go there. I didn't save the positions there. Okay, good. Drone actually hit a useful system, thankfully. Fun of power management wall. Uh, using drone offense is not fun, by the way. And he's running. Okay. Okay, that pull the pilot. Good. Hit system rooms, you stupid drone. Oh man, all those weapons are back on. Alright, we're good, we're good. Oh, what an annoying fight that was. Running away with a damn missile and boarding. Okay, that's fine. Um, is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's a fire. Maybe I should have just turned my defense 2 drone on, but then I use the, I'm using two drone parts to kill. I, I don't know if that was worth. Results-based analysis said I took one or two damage from that. So, you can judge whether that was worth or not. Uh, what's up, Zero G Bandit? Saw the WoW stream yesterday, so bummed about my death. Yes, and you were the one who. Thank you for the 125 gold you sent me after dying. And I'm sorry I couldn't remember your Twitch name. I get all the names mixed up. Uh, Overseer Mount Taurus is like a mini world boss, apparently. That sucks. You're glad, you, like, my mail was devastated because you were so close to catching up to me. Get some catch up now. I try to log on tomorrow during stream to help. Nice. Free weapon? Alright, free stuff. Yes, I started a, I started a druid, so if you want to team up, we now have restarted. You and may, maybe me, you and Paul can get a trio going on or something. Was that ship running from the start? It wasn't, actually. You could potentially have just used defense drone and got a crew kill, huh? I guess that's true. Um, do I have enough power to have all that online? To have two shields, ion blast, and defense two drone all online at the same time? I wouldn't be able to have O2, so I would have to do it slow because I tur couldn't turn it on speed hack. So I'm not I'm not too sad about missing out on a crew kill, to be honest. Honestly, not that sad about it. All right, quest marker. All right, still haven't seen a store. Is there one guaranteed store in Pirate? I think there is. Could have just run them out of missiles. I guess that's true. So it would have cost me one drone part and patience to run them out of missiles, yeah. Oh god. Yeah, Alright. Uh, this is going to be really annoying. Get three human borders, man. They get in here, they have free reign to my ship. Alright, does that force them into the heal bay? Yes, okay, alright. Alright, we're good. We're good. Freaking free human borders on my damn ship. We're infested, chat. We're infested. I feel infected by it. It's the smell, if there is such a thing. 
Um, boarding defense on the ship is really bad. Yes, it is. Anti-boarding sucks on this ship. But we didn't take any damage. We got our little repair training and nobody died. So we'll call that a win. Call that a win. I'll have those prevented, I guess. All right. There we have two stores. Wow. Okay. Great micro. Thanks, Gunther. Hashtag blame Grima. Yeah. All right. We got a charge to... Is that better? Probably. <sighs> Backup battery, mind control charge too. We have a second store. Hmm. I think we just buy, buy this, but then do I do anything else is the question. No, we're not buying. We're not grabbing mind control because the gulls get hacking and cloaking on this ship. If I buy this, can I afford cloak uh, hacking from the next door? I guess would be the question. I think I could with being able to sell stuff. Uh, how much do I have stuff to sell? So if I sold these two, I have 60 scrap worth of sell to stuff to sell. Not ideal. I'd love a one power weapon to go with this charge too. Like a heavy laser from this store. A heavy laser one would be amazing. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Mike. If we get a heavy laser one, that'd be amazing. Uh, let's just do nothing else and see if, what other options we got here. Reloader. Heavy laser two is the wrong kind. <laughs> All right, I think heavy. I think Ion Blast One is the play there, though. We sell Ion Blast Two. We get Ion Blast One. Get it online and think about selling Combat One or not. I always buy this. I think. Um, do I even need to sell anything to get that? Yes. If I sell Ion Blast Mark Two, I can get this Ion Blast Mark One online. Reloader is great kind of too expensive. I need my offense online right now, not faster, worse offense. I think this is just better. This is just the play here. Um, and I keep the combat drone, I keep the defense drone. I can sell defense 2 to get defense 1. Now, is that one? in general, I find Defense 2 to just be worse than Defense 1 because it gets distracted and doesn't shoot down missiles. The problem I have with it is, how, how, is the inefficiency of scrap it costs. It's one less power, but we're basically 35, 59, 64, 64. I go down to 14 scrap. So I basically s spend... 15 scrap to get a one less power defense drone that will focus missiles down. Is that good? I feel like that's good. I'll probably like defense 2 drone more than 1, but that's from a pause perspective. My main issue to for me is the power. Like the 3 power drone compared to the 2 power drone is a big deal to me, I feel like. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna swap them out. This is probably not the most efficient. But I like this better. I like this better. Now I feel like I need power. Let me get one. Let's go a couple more repair. And then I'm gonna get power next, and then we save for hacking is the goal. I hope this quest isn't another store. Defense 2 drone comboed with pause and power. Management works well, but for no pause, it's ass, in your opinion. Depends on how good you are, I guess. Probably you could min-max. You could uh, make it work. I'm not going to use a defense one against a black one. Nice. Right, is there ever a crew kill here? NG. So if I do that, and then shoot 0-2. Level 2 0 2 it's probably not happening. Especially now that the NG's going over there. 
So, with him running, I don't think this ever works, does it? Level 202 is never going to happen anyway. Well, I kind of tried. Defense drone one cover you for most missiles. Yeah, if there's one positive thing I can say about NGA and its drone control is that the small circular ship plus force drone control means defense one drone is about at its optimal performance, right? Uh, it's less, it's the least likely to let a stray missile through with defense one on NGA, I would say. All right, I'm gonna not get the power yet, even though I want it, because this quest could be a store. Does the defense two drone favor shooting lasers over missiles? It doesn't favor anything. It shoots the first thing that comes in range. Oh, nice. No, I'm really glad I didn't spend power. It favors order, not type of thing. So, and the problem is that because missiles travel slower than lasers, the laser always gets there first. So depending on the timing of weapons, it will often shoot a laser instead of a missile because a laser just gets there before the missile does. Technically, it favors shooting missiles. How? How? Really? Does it? Does it say that in the description? How, how does that work? I did not, if that's true, I did not know that it was true. So I may have just misspoken. No, the description says nothing about it. Okay. So are you going, you're going by like the code? Yeah, you should add that to your info mod. Holy free long range scanners. Because I've never heard anything about different drones. Apart from modded drones, I've never heard anything about a defensive drone prioritizing one type of projectile over another. McClaws said the th same thing, and McClaws is always right. You're going by testing. Okay. Alright, scrap some debris, free stuff, okay. We're trying to save for hacking. NG Homeworld, oh man, NG Homeworlds Sector 3 could be two shield ships with defense drone mark 2. Uh, but it's also more stores to find hacking. I could sell combat drone for hacking now, so I guess I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I know. Three long range scanners is. Chef's kiss. Right. Quest. So this was the quest we got from using our defense drone. I hope it's not one of those quests that's like you have to run away from Mantis and hope you get a fight or something. Second pass. Nice! The long-range scanners gave us the blue option. <laughs> Those long-range scanners that we got for free gave us the blue option to make that not be a nothing jump. That is awesome. I really actually kind of want to get that upgrade, but I have enough for hacking, so I need to not do that yet. Scripted run, that's right. Sometimes you'll see the defense drone start targeting a laser and then reprioritize onto a missile, for example. Interesting. All right, so this is uh, this is, gets us a virus. Actually, if I don't do this and just attack the NG vessel, is this better? I think what Mike is saying that if both a laser and a missile are on the screen at the same time, the DD Defense 2 drone is turned on, it'll favor shooting the missile. That's correct. Okay. Let me actually look this one up. Um, subscribing FTL virus. For subscribing to the channel. So we get our, we get our, we get NG crew member with random amount of scrap. If we just attack, fight an NG ship, it's also random. So basically, this gets us a fully trained NG. But if we can't kill them, we lose our NG. Basically. Thank you for the eight months of subage, Ali Sharon. Appreciate it. All right, if I lose an NG, it's not the end of the world. So I'm gonna go for this and hope I can kill this guy. Wow, that's an insane amount of offense. Okay. There's no weapons guy. Uh, 
Oh my god, this guy. Okay, he, he doesn't have a defense two drone, so that's good. Full charge two volley. Dodge three out of four shots, or two out of three or something. That was a lot of dodges anyway. Can't really turn on my defense drone. I mean, my uh, combat drone, because it was shot down. I hope this fight doesn't run away. I don't, I don't know if it does or not. Shield training is being good here, although you don't have shield training, so... This guy has two shields and a value point, by the way, because I've shot his shields. And he still had two shields. Okay, good. He's not running. At least Virus, it looks like, doesn't ever run, so that's good. I'm going to do the entire volley here. Entire volley out of shields this time. Does the hacking deep power trick work for defensive drones? No. Uh, I mean... For offensive drones? Uh, yes. Yes, but it's really hard to do while you're not pausing to not screw that up. Alright, we got Virus. The sad thing is, is that Silly Device is not the one who didn't... It was not the one who got swapped out there, so... Uh, we already... You were basically already a Virus. Whoever was this character just got reset and only gained fighting and and, and uh, repair training, because he already had the other four. Um, okay. I don't see a store yet. I'm going to do this upgrade, because I can still sell for hacking. And I would rather have this. I think this fight is actually a good example of Defense 2 drone being better than Defense 1 drone while we're talking about it. True. True. With that many fast-firing lasers, Defense Drone 2 would have been more valuable, or more... Uh, would make the fight safer. It's true. We have a black belt NG, that's right. Skipped a ship fight to try to find my store. Only the right play, but it always feels bad to me. Looks like Tomo. Hand the Rand with two hurt mans. Okay. NG quest. Seven, six, five. Three, two, one. I guess I gotta beeline it if I wanna actually do this quest. Do I want to actually do this quest? It's three jumps for two ship fights, a full repair, titanium system casing. Yeah, it's probably worth going for. Could be a fire beam. Talking about the store? Oh, well, that's a burst laser, too. Ooh, okay. Okay, I want that a lot. I want that a lot. Is there another store that could be hacking? Damn it, there is. Uh, uh. Uh, is Burst Laser 2 a debate when we are about to be able to afford hacking? One more month till the year. Thanks for the 11 months, Selectom. Oh, it's awesome. So you're a yearman. That's right. Burst 2 is worth. I'm honestly not sure if it is when we get hacking and we're, like, super strong. Yeah, I could sell Combat 1 and buy Burst Laser 2, but then I couldn't afford hacking at this next door. Right? If I do that, 25... 78 plus 5 is 83. I will buy this and have 3 scrap left. I'm honestly thinking of selling charge 2. Because then I can go burst laser 2, whole laser 1, ion blast. If I sell maybe Comet or a long range scanners, would I be close enough to hacking? It's another 40 scrap. I don't think I'd still be able to afford it. I think I'd still be short. Something to be said for taking the burst laser 2. You know, you can get rather than the hacking you might not get. Fighting hack is more likely than finding another burst laser 2. It's true. Hacking is more rare. I think what I'm going to do here... I bought this. 
I, I, I don't care. Sunk cost fallacy. I don't care. I'm just going to do this because I think right now this is better. And there might be a chance I could buy hacking if I sell enough at this store. And if not, I'll just buy fuel, I guess. Because I, I basically have to go this way if I want to go the, do the NG quest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, if I go to this one and it puts another quest down here, I can't get it. I think a decent way to look at both drones is defense drone one is basically missile defense, whereas defense two drone can also serve as shields. Though that doesn't really take into account not hitting a missile sometimes. Yeah. You get to Jebate, where it's close to the most powerful system. It might have been a Jebate. It might have been. I mean, should I just buy fuel and go and avoid this store? One, two, three. How badly do I care about this NG quest? I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Strong offense. We get hacking later. Hopefully. There it is. Uh, 25 puts us at 30... Eight plus fifteen puts me at forty-eight, fifty-three. Fifty-three plus twenty-five is seventy-eight. So if I sold these three things, I could get hacking. That seems too expensive. I think we just get hacking later in life. Subscribe. Uh, thank you for the eighteen months, Jim Quinn. Appreciate that. Yeah, our offense is just really strong, so I'm not going to feel too bad about that. Missing out on hacking. I basically traded hacking for a burst laser 2 right now. Another quest marker. Jesus. Okay. One that I can't... Man, I would love to dive this sector. This would be such a good dive if I could, like... One, two... Three... Four, five, six, dive... All these freaking quests. Can you 50-50 skip one quest and try to get the reward with only visiting one? You could. I don't I don't trust doing a 50-50 like that. If I'm going for the NG quest, I'm just going to go for it. Defense 2 drone and a missile. Not ideal. Okay. Damn, it's running away. No repair drone, at least. I need to hit piloting here, I think. Okay, all right, piloting down. God, this freaking two, two shields defense two drum sucks. Okay, breached is very good. Please do not let this guy run. Defense two drone doing work here, by the way. Alright, aha, too bad, you followed the wrong guy, okay. Oh wait, we don't lose a jump if this guy runs because it's the... Because it's the event, right? We don't lose a jump. Okay, there's a claim for the last NG. Is that null? You're a little late. Uh, what's the name? Okay. No, wait. I don't know if I'm be able to stop this guy, to be honest. Okay. Oh, okay, fire. I should have been hitting empty rooms with a whole laser, maybe? Maybe? I'm not sure if that would have been better. Yeah, I think we got him. I think we got him. Yeah, this is guaranteed. Alright, alright, we get the scrap. Um, let's see, had a comma, so it's fake one, Dat Bryce. I did get Dat Bryce, and Dat Bryce got turned into a virus, so we'll call it into Dat Virus. There you go. You've been turned into your final form, Dat Virus. All right, so now we are trying to save, save up for hacking. <laughs> this is not even my final form. All right, another big giant missile. Um, I wonder if I get, ever get it offline before it fires. Hmm. Yep, okay, nice. Now, do we have a crew kill? NG. No fires there. Uh, I'm pretty sure our ion just ran into his laser, which is unlucky.
Okay. Save the drone part. It's good. All right, so this is guaranteed to be NG uh, virus guy that we got to trigger the second part or whatever. So if I wanted to dive, I could go one, two, three, four, and then dive. Sector three dive with no hacking and no cloaking seems like a bad idea, so I'm not going to. You never seen that before? An ion hitting laser? Oh, projectiles will hit all sorts of stuff. Projectiles will hit all sorts of stuff. My, the worst is when a shot you've already dodged. Um. A shot you've already dodged does something. Um. There it is. So that's next sector. Uh, when a shot you've already dodged blocks something. I don't know. Um. If you've already dodged a shot, sometimes, I've, like, if, if a missile's coming from this way, you dodge it, and then it goes here, your ion can run into that missile, and that shot you dodged makes it so that your dodge actually reduced your offense. It's rare, but it happens, and it's really annoying anytime that happens. You kind of like the dive since repair after quest. Oh, well. Well, the thing is, the quest is going to be in the next sector. All right, well, that's a free weapon. The repair would have been an X sector, so if I just die on the dive, I never get the repair, so. Mm. Zoltan Bait Worlds? Or just go to Force Nebula? Zoltan Jabate Worlds. The thing is, since I have long-range scanners, we'd know where the empty jumps are, so we could go and get no scrap while not getting the Zoltan shield or something. Envoy Virus Dream Team. Mm. The main uh, reason I could, would consider going here is because I could af avoid forced abandon if this is civilian and this is uncharted. We can pound through Zoltan Shield, especially with combat drone. The thing is, we don't deal with Zoltan Border Police well at all. Like, this ship's venting sucks. We aren't ever going to get mind control on this ship because we're trying to get cloaking hacking. Ah, uh, it's just, that's, that's Zoltan 4, man. We can't go Zoltan 4. It's too, too sketchy. Okay, so this is our free repair here. I want to go do other stuff before I get my free repair. Now let's just go get the titanium system casing we can sell at the store, I think. Sorry about the death yesterday, Burger. Many tears were shed. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. We're going to get them anyway. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, sure, just go in there and I'll fight you in there. <laughs> Got a lot of value out of this uh, uh, defense drone so far, though, so that's good. Fuck you, you fucking shitty game! <laughs> God. All right, Pass Ran, it's okay. It's all right, sir. Should I have tried to crew kill that guy? I don't know, maybe I should have. I think I should have, actually. I think it's a bonus reward. All right, there's our full repair titanium system casing high reward. All right. Quest was probably worth it. Since we were able to kill the fake guy, it was definitely worth it. All right, two stores looking for hacking. Better to choose a safer sector four and just deal with abandoned seven if need, in your opinion. Yeah. Bitch run drone. That's a flak. That's hacking. That's a backup battery. Whew. This is a store that I like. All right, so we take this. We, man, do I sell Ion Blast to get flak? And then I just use Burst Flak for a bit. This is the NGA Redemption, I hope so.
Weakens my offense now, but not that much because we're basically getting a two power three projectile weapon here. I want to get backup battery. I want to sell combat one for backup battery. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. Combat one might still have some value. And we have a long time to find backup battery, I think. Flak is a flak. Agreed. Agreed. Getting that I could just fire the weapons, I don't have to time them the first volley. These things just time out perfectly for the first volley. I need to remember to take advantage of that. That's a fire, so maybe there's a crew kill here. He's low, but... Okay! He has convinced me to not kill him. You, you know how to deal, sir. You have convinced me to not murder you. Well done. Well done on convincing me to not murder you. Uh, Combat 1 would be better if it's a beam drone. True. Combat 1 doesn't seem worth it with your weapons right now. Well, I'm keeping it for Phase 3 of the boss, potentially getting Zolda shields down quicker, but... I, I will probably sell at the first store that has something I really, really want. Did I need to sell the iron at that point? I think you could have had it online and still until weapon six. Probably not, but I don't want to have something in my inventory that I don't plan on using later if I can help it. So, sure. Well, I don't know. With the amount of scrap I had, I don't know that I could have gotten the flak without selling the ion. Maybe I could have. Maybe if I'd sold the combat drone. That's a drone recovery arm. Sorry to hear about the towing. Well, thank you for the thousand bits, Flurchin. And yeah, it was not my best day this last day. So I could have. Okay, it's fine. It's whatever. It's all right. I'm not going to second guess every single decision right now. But I guess if I was playing max efficiency, I didn't sell the ion. Um, cloaking. Drone recovery arm. Do we like drone recovery arm here? First laser three is a big fat nope. Drone recovery arm. Means I can use a defense drone or combat drone whenever I want and not have to worry about my drone parts so much. Hmm, I think I do want it. The problem is it puts me behind on getting cloaking. Could I buy cloaking right now? 77 plus 25 is 97, 100 and... 202... 117... 137 plus 744. I feel like we're like six scraps short if I don't want to sell my defense drone. Good luck, Lucifer. Alright, we'll see you later, uh, Cantonun. I think I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. We can use a combat drone or a defense drone every fight if we want to. Or both. Although I'd need a little upgrade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I've already seen two stores. Now I just want hacking two and some power. Backup battery and cloaking are also my next goals to get. Although getting this whole laser online would also be very good. Okay, he's got a missile. Turn on the defense drone. Is he going to board me? No, he's not. Save our drone part. Uh, this. Fire that. Do we have any crew kill opportunity? Not really. Not with a, an NG to repair, probably. Use both drones to switch between them with your godlike micro. <laughs> hmm. Godlike micro, huh? Nah, I don't... 
Every drone I turn on is a chance to lose a drone part because one of their random shots hits my combat drone. So if I don't need it, I'm not going to turn it on. If it's a rough fight, I will make use of the extra drones. But if it's just an easy fight, no reason to chance losing an extra drone. You advise I sell the burst laser. Okay, funny. Good joke, good joke. Drone recovery arm is half the way to free repair drone winning. The very expensive thing, though. I, even if I saw a whole repair drone, I don't know that I'd take it if it's before I have cloaking online. Okay, so... Do the hack to 75 for another weapon, but I need power and dodge as well. I also need to save for cloaking, so. The old ion missile combo by that mantis. That's right, the old ion missile combo. They're just pirates. <laughs> okay, well now the game's just giving me all the free weapons. I like it when the game does that, though. Turn recover your arm only to save you four or five drone parts to pay for the 25 scrap you can't get back. NG sex event, very cool. So I can go to that store if I want to. And I might have enough to get cloaking if I get enough scrap from the next few jumps. He's got um, shields three, hacking. Let them hack, okay. All right. Here's a good of exa example of a fight where I'm like, oh, this guy's a little stronger than I want to deal with, so we'll turn on the extra combat drone. Which I would not have done. 100% would not have done this if I had drone recovery arm. Well, 90% 90, 90 of the time, I wouldn't have turned on an extra drone without drone recovery arm. So we'll feel too raceful. I probably would have hacked this fight instead. What's up, Night Eagle? How are you doing? Yeah, that could have been a double reward. Alright, um, as much as I want to get power, there is a small chance, maybe even not that small of a chance, that I can get cloaking from this store. If I get any amount of scrap from these two jumps, I think we could probably afford cloaking here. Nice timing on the weapon plus drone. Did I time something? <laughs> it might have been just lucky, because I don't know if I actually timed it correctly. Fallen Phoenix, you've been following my streak attempts on YouTube. You had a few minutes free, so you thought you'd come say hi on your Twitch stream. Best of luck. Appreciate it. Really appreciate that. All right, there we go. We should be able to sell missile for cloaking. Please have cloaking. Welcome to the Twitch stream, and uh, glad to have you. There it is, cloaking... Yes, I don't even have to sell anything for it. That's a halberd beam, though. But cloaking. But cloaking. I was subconsciously brilliant. It's the best way for me to be brilliant. Uh, do I want to sell Combat 1 to get backup battery? I keep considering these different things. Eh, I have drone recovery arm. I don't really want to sell anything. I like everything I have right now. Our build is really good. The fire drone with drone recovery arm. It, 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 you're, you are correct about that. You are technically correct. Honestly, I could go flak halberd beam if I wanted to sell stuff too. And there's a lot of stuff we could do. But yeah, I feel like we're pretty much set. I think I should just buy... I was going to say buy fuel. I'll buy two fuel and just call it good. We're, we're almost boss ready. I could be more boss ready if I had more scrap to buy a like a Howard Beam, but... Yeah. Um. Hey, wow, we one-shot his uh, weapons. That's good. Wasn't expecting that to go so well. Don't need you anymore. That was a joke, Rand. Sell the burst laser for the halberd beam. That was a joke. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Wow. Weapons timed just... just perfectly there. That was nice.
What are we saving for at this point? Um, nothing now. N now I'm just trying to get my upgrades. Um, although, technically backup battery. There is one system I'm missing and it's backup battery. Alright, force slug home with long range scanners. Uh, although I probably... What kills us? Worrying radiation kills us. Maybe not kills us, but is a pain to deal with. Um... Are my fights going to go a long time? Do I need to get the level 202? Do I need level 202 or level 2 med baits to survive slug shenanigans? I'd really like to get this other weapon online, but for that I'd want power. I'm, I'm four scrap from the heal bay upgrade. Worrying radiation is one to two free slug borders plus a ship fight that could be mind control. The scariest is slug and some crazy offense. So I'm trying to debate if I should save up for the heal bay. You prefer med two over O2 here if you're going to go for one of them? Yeah. I think I'm gonna do neither right now. I can't because I, I can't afford heal bay. Hope this first jump is not wearing radiation. Okay, it's not. Alright, I'm going to hack this guy's weapons. Uh, drone recovery arm really proven, proven it's worth right now since uh, I would I could turn on the defense drone and not worry about drone parts quite so much. Oh, these freaking dodges though. Death by a thousand fucking missiles, man. Uh, but it didn't even hit me. It's not death. What are you talking about, Fast Rand? I'm not dead. Everything's fine. I'm also trusting in my defense drone when I'm since I'm not actually hacking his weapons, which I should be hacking his weapons. That's right, drone recovery arm showing its quality. Holy free stuff, Batman. Okay. These have been some really good double rewards this run, honestly. Aren't there like three events where level 202 is good? Yes, Grand Moth Tarkin. The argument for not taking the level 202, though, is if you kill them quickly enough, then the level 202 is wasted. So it's it's like insurance. But if you don't die, then insurance is wasted. I don't know. You just found one of my YouTube videos. Have I completed 24 consecutive successful runs with random trips in a hard mode without dying? Uh, twice I've done that, yes. Cobalt, but I've yet to do 28 in a row, which is the goal of this streak uh, challenge. In general, ships are tailored, aren't are tailored to events, except a few things like a forced fire weapon and the burn you out event. The personnel helps with worrying radiation. Actually, you're right, it does. You're right, it does. I just turn that on and they go kill the drones and I don't really, or kill the slugs and I don't have to worry about it. Um... Is there any way I can go up and around? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and still get the store? Looks like no, so let's just go to the store. What do you got? There's our backup battery. Okay. Defense scrambler, small bomb breach two. 100% we're doing that. Now I decide do I sell anti personnel or do I keep it? What are the arguments for keeping anti personnel drone? Does it help me on phrase three when 
my crew's getting mind controlled because it like kind of kills off my crew. Or I guess I could have it move into the room, then depower it so we could just tank the hits or something. O2 upgrade. Honestly, I, I will say anti personnel also lets me do giant alien spiders. So there's that. I like free stuff in FTL, as long as it isn't free damage or free crew loss. Agreed, agreed. Honestly, I kind of want to just save up to get my whole laser online. Do I need combat one? I don't need it. I'm keeping it. Help us get through Zoltan Shield Phase 3 a little bit faster. Although, Beam Drone is better than Combat Drone for that, so I could sell Combat Drone for the Beam Drone if I'm keeping it for that reason. Happy Salt Day. Thanks for the 17 months in a row, Sidon. Appreciate that. Honestly, maybe I even sell Combat Drone to get my weapon upgrade online. God, there's so many things I could do. This run is almost an embarrassment of riches. I could just sell both of these and get my whole laser online, and that is very tempting. Do I have enough for that? 57, 62, 79. I think I do have enough for that. Um... But if I were to do that and not do any upgrades and get wearing radiation event, that could be a pain. I'm gonna still combat drone. I'm just gonna do it. And one we're one jump away from getting my whole laser online while keeping anti-personnel drone to deal with uh wearing radiation event. You barely beat the flagship once on easy mode with literally one bar of HP left. You've played so many runs. You feel like you get messed up by RNG every time. Uh, Eco Bolt. The people who are doing the challenge that you're very surprised about are people who have thousands of hours in the game. So I say that to say, don't get discouraged. This game is very difficult. Because there exist people in the world who are doing these challenges does not lessen your achievement. It just means you gotta practice and improve. And I actually do recommend watching skilled players if you want to improve your play, so. Uh, there are a lot of really good FTL players out there you can watch. This might be a free here. Shot to lower their health. Ooh. Okay, yes, he's going in there to put a fire out. Yeah, it's a tough game, a huge amount that you can learn to improve your play. Um, screw kill, nice. Um, who are the best? Who are the best recommendations? What, Crow Ravel and Mike Hopley have a lot of good YouTube videos. Watching me, Farb, um, Empowers is really good. Hollow Shadime is kind of considered the like best FTL player. So a lot of very very skilled players you can learn from if you find them, and I can definitely recommend a lot of them to help you improve your play if you'd like to. That's right, knowledge is huge in FTL, it really is. Knowing is half the battle. Go, Joe! Beam drone has blue options, help with Zeltan shield. Okay, well that is triple missile weapons. Okay, let's just, I'm just turning my defense drone on right now. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna hack. I'm gonna not hack, actually. Oh, the bomb. Okay, good. These are spaced out enough. We're good. Wait for the cloak. Again, being greedy, not Go fuck using a uh, hacking drone. Okay, but I have cloaking up for the next one. I don't need. Don't need shields when um, there are. No lasers. Now I need shields. Come on! Fuck you, FTL! Hey, the defense run actually hit them both. Nice. 
Uh, that is not a good enough deal. Here comes the bomb, I think. This club is gonna come back up, isn't it? That's fine. Good fight. Good fight. We used zero drones since uh, we have drone recovery arms. That's nice. Virus does not need the repair training. Am I winning, Rand? Yes. For an NGA run, I think I can unequivocally say for once, yes. Unequivocally, does that work in that s s uh, sentence? I'm not sure, but we're winning. We're not dying. Of course, now that I've said that, I probably get um, boarded by the uh, slugs in the, uh, what is that event? The uh, wearing radiation event and get punished. Even strong for the win, I know, right? What's up, Madman? Uh, cursed NG ship. A little bit cursed. All right, do I even want to do this fight? Double missiles and an ion with cloaking. And defense drone. I guess. I guess I'd. I guess I'd want to take this. So we say, ask to see the goods. Continue. Understood. And forget this might get us a fight. It does with free borders. Well, okay. Oh man, that's really far away. The firebomb. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck you, you shitty fucking. Too much micro. I didn't get my, uh. I'm gonna turn you off. Just turn this on. I got the fire out. I don't have enough power. You can join us all. Fuck you, FTL. Fuck you! Okay. Fuck you, FTL. Fuck your shitty. Wow. Uh, Pass Rand is on a roll right now. Lots of F bombs. Sorry, chat. I apologize for Pass Rand. And he's running, because of course he effing is. Why wouldn't he effing run? <sighs> okay, good. No running now. No surrender. Never trust a slug surrender. What the hell, man? What the actual fuck? <laughs> man, I should kill him. All right, used uh, one drone part there. We're, we're pretty good on drone parts. I'm, I'm. I was a little skeptical, skeptical about buying a drone recovery arm, and I am completely cured of my skepticism after how many fights we fought missile ships. Basically, you find 480p suitable for watching on Twitch. You need to watch you in 720 on YouTube. Interesting. Okay. Pass Rand needs no apologies, huh? His choice of words is totally justified. Glad you all think so. Uh, lots of F-bombs. Everyone knows the firebomb is the best weapon. <laughs> alright, alright. 56 crap. Um, I just, I need kind of, I need power for days right now. So I'm gonna go dodge power. And then maybe cloaking too, so we have the cloaking hacking cycle soon. Available. The sea was angry that day, like past Rand fighting a missile boat, yes. Defense drone one. Uh, defense drone is putting in work. It is definitely putting in work. That is a really good weapon system. Um, I'm gonna hack your piloting and shoot weapons here. Beautiful. Okay. Should be safe fight. Uh, drone recovery arm you think is always a good buy with the ship that starts the drone patrol? Probably. If you're forced to have it, and you actually have usable drones, then yeah, it probably is always worth. My argument is that usually if I have drone control, depending on the run, I might sell my starting drones just never actually use the drones, and then the drone recovery arm would be a waste, you know? A waste of 50 scrap. But saying always about anything in FTL is 
You know, one of those things where really the answer is it depends. You buy a drone recovery arm on a... Um, ship the start of drone recar uh, with drone control? Uh, depends on your run. I've ever played Slay the Princess. Played Slay the Spire. What's Slay the Princess? I don't think I've heard of that. That is a weapon system, right? With no cloaking, I actually am just going to do the OCAC cycle here. This one, I think I actually do need to wait because whole laser is a little slower. That was a lot of dodges. Okay. I did hear about Slave Spire too. Yes, uh, somebody mentioned it yesterday, and I watched the. Um, I'm not that fire. I watched the video on Steam, which is cool. I mean, it's. It's one of those things where it's a trailer with no gameplay, so I didn't get super hyped. But I guess probably what a lot of people are hyped about is it looked like that trailer kind of revealed a new class or something with some skeleton summoning or some skeleton dude or something. That's probably why people were excited about it. It looked kind of like a trailer done at like an E3 reveal or something. But I don't know where, where it came from. All right, do we have another store? We have another guaranteed store somewhere, but I didn't see these jumps, I don't think. So I could have missed the guaranteed store. So let me just get the cloak too. Let's just do it. We can now cloak hack cycle for safety. Looks interesting. I mean, without seeing gameplay, it's hard for me to get excited about any game, honestly. I've seen so many trailers that are like, yeah, it looks awesome! And it's like, well, then the game never comes out, or, you know, whatever. Actually, I've got level two, it's fine. Um, like, I was watching uh, a YouTube video from, I think it was Asmongold, yesterday or the day before, where... There, he was watching the trailer for, there's some new Star Wars game uh, that's making the rounds on the internet with some girl who everybody's making fun of her hair do or something. And like, basically the trailer for the game is just a movie trailer. And I'm like, how can anybody care about something that it just looks like a, a video game that's a movie trailer? It's like, who cares? What gamers? Want to play another crappy story-driven Star Wars game where you don't even get to be a Jedi or Sith with a lightsaber? Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I played XCOM. It's a good game. XCOM is great. How many jumps do we have? Uh, seven, six, five, four. Five, seven, six, five, four, three. Okay. Have I ever played Bellatro or Dungeons and D Degenerate Gamblers? I've not played either of those. Game never comes out because it is a cash grab, yeah. All right, so this is hacking my O2. Okay. He's cloaking while hacking my O2. I think it's different when it's a sequel to an already successful game. Sure, sure. You beat an enemy unknown on normal difficulty. XCOM is horrendous and you love it. <laughs> um, I don't want to do this. I think I want my hacking and I'm going to hack his piloting. Then I can kill this cloaking to end this fight quicker, I think, is how I want to do this. Poke the bomb. Uh, this is always a fire bomb, I think. Good. Basically, I want to end this fight as quickly as possible with our O2 hacked. Fine. I seem to repair his poking pretty quickly. 
No empty jumps or empty rooms to make use of whole laser, sadly. Good. All right. Lights over. Give my O2 back, please. And there we go. And for the person who asked, aren't there three events that hack your O2? Yes, and I often do recommend leveling your O2 to level two. But if your build is strong enough and you can kill quick enough, then you don't necessarily need the level two O2. It's, again, it's kind of insurance. I'm gonna let my O2 get back up in case we get another event right after. But I've heard many good things about Bellatro. I know a ton of people are loving it. I just haven't gotten into it. I don't know that I'm a big, I don't, I don't think it's a game made for people like me. I don't like poker that much or anything. You have a classic difficulty game of enemy within going on. Should you ever get around to finishing it? Okay. The XCOM's great, and I did stream it a bit, but it's one of those games where if I'm going to play a hard, punishing, ridiculous game, then I'll just play FTL. So, I have my hard, ridiculous, punishing game already, and it's called FTL. Um, upgrades, upgrades. Um... Wearing radiation vent. I do have anti-personnel drone. I kind of want to get third shield, and I also kind of want to have a 100% chance of dodge when I'm close. So let's go ahead and do that upgrade next. The second XCOM is on sale right now. Nice. It seems to be a little faster pace of play than usual. It must be going well. Well, I'm not boarding and... Um, look at my weapons. So, sure, yeah. Going going well, I guess. I say away as we get boarded by Double Mantis and die. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. No! Fuck you, FDL! Fuck you! Stupid drone. Stupid fucking useless drone. God damn piece of junk. Just trying to move my power around to cloak in case that bullshit happened, and Ooh. couldn't move my power quickly enough. Go in there, fucking hell. Need to hack the weapons. Getting overwhelmed here. My drone, my fucking anti personnel drone died, because of course it did. Uh, and this is why drone control, even on the best ship in the game built for it, still sucks. Still fucking sucks. This just worthless, man. Just let it, what was that, three damage missile through? But Rand, you were saying defense drone is doing so good. It has done well. And then it showed why it sucks. It showed why it sucks. Do I ever crew kill this? Four NGs, a heal, I mean, four Mantis, a heal bay. I doubt I ever actually crew kill this. Let's go heal while we watch it, though. Might be a chance. Ship probably burns down before we crew kill it, but I would like to get my revenge on these guys if possible with the crew kill. Okay, I think we might actually get it. If he tries to run to the heal bay, that should do it. How hard is normal mode of FTL too easy? Ah, uh, anybody in chat can answer that question? I have not played hard, uh, normal or easy in a long time, so. It is harder, less scrap, more difficult chips. I don't know how to quantify that answer though, so. Oh, uh, what do we got here? I think I'm guaranteed two stores here. Because I think I've... Well, actually, my second store could have been over there. One, two, three, four, six. Yeah, well, let's not spend any scrap yet, since we do have a store. Right, well, that sucks. We took three damage from the missile while my defense drone was alive. Annoying, but it's not the end of the world. It's just annoying. Oh, uh, is that HDD? I think that was HDD with a 29 months of subage. Really appreciate that. 
Uh, no pause micro between anti-personnel drone and defense drone is rough. Last pass ran was the most painful. I bet RPG knows exactly where the clip was originally from. Normally can still be a normal can still be a challenge. Easy feels like a cakewalk. Well, sure. There you go. That's uh, that's such a subjective answer. How good are you at the game? I don't know. I don't know. How easy is it? So easy. That's... I'm sorry to say, you know what the actual answer to that is? It depends. The real answer is it depends. How how easy, difficult, whatever. It depends on how your skill level experience is. You don't know how to answer questions like that. You played easy the other week. You rage quit on the first fight, so you're good for at least a year. Alright, sounds good. If you can be easy every time you play, then you are ready for normal. If you are 50-50 on easy, then you will find normal a real challenge. There you go. That's probably one of the better ways to put it. Uh, there's a pass ran clip that is just a wordless groan that gets you every time, yeah. Do I ever get five if I go one, two, three, four, five? No, I don't. So let's get the distress instead of the nebula. There's a big jump in enemy strength from easy to normal. Same for lower scrap. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, very small difference in enemies between normal and hard, but still significantly less scrap. Distress could be a sluggy boy. Speaking of, I should probably just buy a sluggy boy here, honestly. Either of you have piloting? Sadly, no. But because we're not going to get mind control, we definitely need a slug, so... Artyom. Get on piloting. Human, you have shield training, so I can actually free up the rock man here. Alright, do I want to do anything else here? I'm pretty good on drone parts, fuel's pretty fine. I could get an anti-drone for phase 2 of the boss. Uh, honestly, maybe anti-drone is good in case we have a forced rebel sector for double offensive drone auto assault in an asteroid field. What do we think about that? I feel like if uh, Sleeping Dragon were here, he would actually advocate for that. You know, I think I am going to buy that. There's nothing I just need to buy right now, and I think this could be useful in certain situation, especially with uh, drone recovery arm. I can have defense drone and anti-drone on at the same time, so. Uh, the still significantly less scrap is a thing that really got you on the switch from normal to hard. Not wasting scrap is a big deal, yes. It is the sluggy boy. Six moons. Six moons, alright. It is a fighting sluggy girl, I guess. Alright, um... Slug on sensors. Rock, go hang out in the O2 room. Deal with uh, insta boarding. The adult diaper brand you can trust. It depends. That's right. Uh, you feel like a lot of the game is just knowledge and luck. Yes, the more knowledge you gain, the less luck you need, is how I'd say that. Ignore slug nog, rescue slug. <laughs> wow. I bought a slug and I got two slugs for free. Wow. Okay. Alright, well, this, uh, Grima, you're getting closer and closer to the doors, my friend. Closer and closer. Well, now I really wish I hadn't bought that slug. Of course, if I bought that slug, probably I didn't get the two free slugs, right? I know. Uh, buy an anti combat drone, get one for free! <laughs> that store, I literally bought a slug and an anti drone. And in the two or three jumps afterwards, I got two free slugs and a free anti-drone. I'm so confused about what's happening right now. Oh my god, Rocker Zulpin. Um, I think I actually go Rock, right? I got Defense Drone and Cloaking. Do I have Rock Live Mind Protection? Uh, I think you need a Beam Drone for that, so I think I'd need one more... Engine power? I know, unintentionally calculated.
But I keep the receipts. <laughs> I need to return these things. That's right. So rock live mine, live mine protection is clone bay. I think beam drone. And level five engines. Is that right? I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. FTL rock live mine. A missile weapon. I forgot that one. So missile weapon, beam drone, clone bay protects you from the crew staying dead, and then level five engines. Which level five engines just makes nothing happen. I don't want to spend the scrap on that. I don't want to do that. It protects my crew. I mean, I ha I'm full up on crew, so losing a crew wouldn't be the end of the world, but I'm going to eventually buy level five engines, so might as well do it now. Your slug deal reminds me of the UHF buy nine spatulas and get the tenth for just one penny. <laughs> That's right. I approve of all things UHF quoting, Commodore. I approve of all that. Uh, there could be a crew kill here, potentially. Hmm, without mind control, it's really hard to crew kill rocks. Not a great deal. Do I ever think this happens? I don't think it ever happens. Immune to fire. We'd have to get like a bunch of breaches, I feel like. Uh, spatula City! Spatula City! I'm Cy Greenwald. I like their spatula so much. I bought the company. Spatula City, we sell spatulas. And that's all! Let's go, you got a slug cruiser, huh? Okay, nice. Okay, big giant missile. Let's hope it doesn't fail. Don't fail me, Steve. Be a Carl, not a Steve. Ah, fuck you, FTM. Okay, missile down. That's good. Um... What kind of store would have that? <laughs> that deal, some sort of spatula store? <laughs> Doodly -doo -doo -doo. God fucking damn it! Oh. Spatula City. All right, I I'm gonna stop singing Spatula City now that I want to sing it. I just want to sing it over and over. <laughs> uh, again, if we could breach O2, maybe. And it's level three. Does this ever work? Does this ever work? I I'm probably not patient enough to find out. You'd have to, like, resist a lot of times, I feel like. Good lord, Pastor Rand. I mean, it's a big giant missile, and the big giant missiles have the louder, um, ragier ones. Yeah, Conan the Librarian. <laughs> Uh, he didn't even mention, um... Gandhi 2. No more Mr. Passive Resistance. He's back to kick some butt. Give me a steak. Medium rare. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to be patient for this. As this might happen. It depends on if this guy gets into here in time. I think this is the crew kill. I think we got Neo over here. I think we're Frickin there. Frickin' Neo. Don't you know the Dewey Decimo system? <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh, so goofy. Uh, past Rand's going Doom Eternal in the background. That's right. Anytime we get Rand to sing jingles from UHF, it's a good day. <laughs> hey, we did it! Another whole smasher one. Okay. Uh, who needs to heal? Taters does. 
Okay. <laughs> they have seven locations. You can find them in the yellow pages under spatula. <laughs> uh, all right, 72 scrap. Um, Probably work towards third shield next. We have stuff to sell. Couldn't get that value point. Save a little bit of scrap because we have two guaranteed stores in Rock Home Worlds. Alright, uh, fight the ship. He's gonna board me. His weapons are really weak. Okay, he's over there. <laughs> hey, Stanley. Yeah, George. I'd like to have your own TV show. Okay. <laughs> he just wanders into the studio. UHF, man. What a classic. What a classic. Is it even considered a cult classic? I don't know if it's popular enough to be considered a cult classic. I feel like it's only cult classic to people who are... Goofy Weird Al fans like me and half of my chat apparently are. You get to drink from the fire hose! Alright. Alright, skip the distress to look for our stores. I'd still replace Hull Laser with a... Alder Beam... A Heavy laser too. There's a lot of good stuff we could find. So let's hold off on spending any more scrap until we at least see one store. Fill into personnel drone and put another anti drone on my bar. No, I'm I'm probably gonna keep this. Yeah, I have enough drone parts. That's worth. Makes me get power without having to spill it and spend scrap. I like it. All right, asteroid field into the store. You rewatched UHF and it holds up surprisingly well. Yeah, I agree. Of course, I think all things Weird Al holds up forever, but me and my brother watched it. We also watched Bill and Ted's, and I'm not sure if that holds up as well. But I definitely agree about UHF. All the jokes, so many of the jokes in UHF are not really dependent on you. They're, they're not topical for the time. They're like they're timeless jokes. Timeless, stupid, ridiculous goofy jokes. I feel like you go back and watch I don't know. Like some of the scary movies uh, or well like American Pie. There's probably a lot of or like old episodes of Saturday Night Live. So many of the jokes are like because of the political climate of the day or something. UHF just holds up. Just holds up. For sure, you think it's a cult classic? You have absolutely no idea what you're on about. Not even the slightest. You're happy I'm having a good time. You should watch UHF. I watch FTL. Everybody in chat, go watch... Go watch UHF. Weird Al's first movie from way back in the early 80s, I think it was. Your, your favorite joke is supplies when they run, uh, jump out and yell supplies, yes. That's pre-igniter. Do I care, though? We don't need a second one of those. I don't think I actually care. What sector are we in? Sector 6. Asteroid fields. Rand, this is my first time being in your stream. You watch my streak videos on YouTube, so it's interesting to be here live. Nice. Glad to have you here here live. Not many people know this, but the turtle is nature's suction cup. Look, it sticks. Okay, yeah. I'm going to probably stop reading out the quotes, because, yeah, if you've never seen it, these quotes make little to no sense. So, but yes, yeah, just, I recommend checking out UHF. Um, Badgers? Badgers? We don't need those stinking badgers! I say I gotta stop quoting and then I keep quoting. Sorry, sorry about that. UHF was 1989. Okay, so late 80s. UHF is a radio frequency. Um, it is... It's like a public... 
TV station. Um, so basically, the premise is Weird Al somehow gets control over a public domain TV station. He can put whatever the hell he wants on it, and it's all these stupid, goofy um, TV shows that he just makes up and puts on a station. And it's an early Michael Richards. Is that the guy who played Kramer in Seinfeld? It's an early him. Um, one of the one of the original one of the like '80s SNL cast members. I think is uh, there's actually I think a couple of SNL cast members. I think the girl who plays his girlfriend was a SNL cast member. I think. Ignoring a pre-igniter. Yes, it is. Blazing Saddles. That's a movie that might not have aged well. <laughs> Probably not. What's wrong? Demand the rock ship pay. Cheap power upgrade, I'll take it. Yeah, over the air public access television. There's there's the good description of it. Feels like the film in general will make about as much sense as the quotes. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of I mean it's Weird Al. If you don't like Weird Al, you're probably not gonna like UHF. But who doesn't like Weird Al? My ex didn't. And see how that went. <laughs> ruined. Everything ruined. Uh, I'm trying to save my hacking here. Uh, he doesn't inherit it. His his uncle, Weird Al's uncle, wins a UHF station in a poker game. That's that's the actual premise. Weird Al's uncle wins a UHF station in a poker game. He doesn't care about it, so his aunt convinces his uncle to let him run it because he has an overactive imagination. That's the premise of the movie. You want to be one of the three slugs? Sure, sure thing, BJ. We do have lots of crew available. Do you get weird public TV stations these days? I haven't watched actual TV in I can't tell you how many years. A long, long time. So I don't even know if those stations even exist anymore. Because I watch Twitch and I watch YouTube. And I haven't even tried to watch something on an actual TV in a long time. Um, what do I want to upgrade? Hack 3, I guess. We're about to go into Sector 7, yeah. Do I even care? I mean, this is a guaranteed ship fight if I just killed him, so yeah. yeah stay, take it, I guess. Have all of my missiles, sir. Very nice. Alright, Force Rebel. Let's see if our anti-drone that I bought is gonna pay off. I do have long range scanners so I can avoid the uh, asteroid field with potential double drone, double offensive drones, potentially. Uh, what do I want to upgrade? Power and value points, I guess. Power, let's get doors in case we get a bunch of free human borders in this rebel sector. It's free hull repair if you do the event. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know that it's worth the scrap costs. Sensors, huh? Actor piloting. Oh, I only got two shields down. I should have hit piloting, I guess. Oh, I hit him with everything and I only got two shields down. Does that mean he had a value point in shields, I wonder? Dodges. Rear hole repair, yeah. Okay, uh, let's wait for the hack. There we go. That should be good. That should be good. Ooh, poke the next bomb. There was an old public access show in your hometown. 
That was just three fat guys talking about classic pro wrestling from the 80s and earlier. It was actually pretty great. <laughs> that sounds that sounds like old school Twitch is what that sounds like. That's the origin of Twitch is public access radio state or public access TV shows like Wayne's World where people are just talking about the stuff they like. Oh, that's good to do that. Free, free delay or cost us a drone part, I guess. That's kind of the precursor to Twitch right there. Your favorite show, Mystery Science 3K, uh, 3000, started off as a UHF public access in Minneapolis. They're called the KTMA episodes. That's great. Sorry to hear about the Warlock's death, Line Freeze. Yeah, it was rough. Wow. Well, there's our store. I think we can get that. And that's our rock ship. Right, okay. Wow, that's one of the first times in a long time I've seen an entire sector laid out. I can't do that. And just, I I could go anywhere. And we needed the delay to actually get the store, which is kind of crazy. Right? My control, that's fine. I'm gonna not use a drone part here. Double ion, we can cloak some stuff. Trust in my cloaking. Okay. And Austin, they had Mr. Sinus the three, Mr. Sinus three hundred three thousand with live comedians. Right? Sounds pretty interesting. I know we usually don't get the map to the last jump, not the first jump. So uh, look at that. It really is my lucky day. First jump. First jump map in a Sector 7 Rebel Sector. Pretty nice. Free repair when we have another free repair coming up. Yes, I know we're going to need fuel. That's why I didn't give away three fuel when I had four. Uh, okay, I could buy a beam drone for phase three of the boss. Do I even care? Do I care it's still about anti-personnel drone? Are there any distress beacons? There is, but I'm not going to get it, so... I'm going to sell anti-personnel. How many jumps do we have this sector? At least nine. I think I'm going to get the beam drone for phase three of the boss. Turning in and... Pipo... Tuning in and run is alive. It is. You get whole laser two instead of whole laser one, I guess. That is an upgrade. Honestly, whole laser two. 14 seconds. It's one second slower charge time, but the fact that it adds fire to the breach chance, I think definitely makes it worth it. So I'm gonna do that. I do need a bunch of scrap to get it online, but I think that's worth picking up. We'll have plenty of scrap to get it online. And I think I just kill the rock ship rather than letting him run away for rock hole plating, a repair, and high scrap. I think we just kill him. Although it might be hard with since I just reduced my offense a bit. I guess I'll try to kill him, and if he gets away, it's not a big deal, because we'll just follow him and get the reward. Cloaking, big giant missile. He's gonna board me. Good. Defense drone didn't fail. Somebody gonna go on piloting? Not yet. Right, I'm purposefully killing this guy who is actually a quest mob. Purposely doing it. Oh, fuck this game, man! Oof, fuck okay. this game! Alright, fast friend. It's fine, it's fine. So the device go heal. That must have been a four damage missile for me to get so mad about it, I think. Uh, for past me to get so mad at it. You can feel that one? Yes. Sell long range scanners. Sneaky Thief, in my opinion, keeping long range scanners, if it gets you one 
jump, that would be a ship fight in Sector 8 more than pays for itself. So no thanks. I'm not going to sell it. Do I want to use defense drone here? Sure. Okay. Well, that was annoying. Um, that... That beam drone blocked my defense drone from shooting down the heavy laser. Or the something. The fire beam. Whatever. It's crazy, actually. Okay. Trying to not use a hacking drone here. We're safe, right? They can't do damage to us. Okay. We're safe, so I'm just gonna... As long as he doesn't run, we're good. Uh, what's up, Svensson? Is this the new mod? New pass ran quotes? Uh, I mean, it, it's gotten updated a bunch of times. The last time was a couple weeks ago, so... It's new if you haven't been here in a couple weeks. I guess. You switched tabs, you seriously thought something was going on. No, that was past Rand. <laughs> it's just past Rand, don't worry about it. Drone recovery arm doesn't refund hacking drones, correct? That is correct. Although, silly device, I still, <laughs> I say this every time somebody asks that. Silly device swore that he had proof that it did work at one point. Back when silly device hung out a lot more. Uh, Missile Mod evolves constantly, courtesy of Rand. Well, mainly it's courtesy of RPG Nerd is the one who creates it. Okay, that's a fine hack. Uh, okay, I need to... Skip. I'm gonna think about hacking if I need to hack, but... This guy does have effectively four shields. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shots, so we'll go for it. Okay, it's fine. Look at anti drone doing so much work. Nah, no. I, I kind of need the fuel, but not enough to get a low scrap to get that fuel. I'll shoot an empty room for once. Um, you always try to sell long-range scanners in the last sector. You hadn't thought about helping to find a fight for scrap. Well, it's it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a gamble, because if you're sector eight, you don't have any choices. Then long-range scanners would be a waste. But think about it this way, especially in hard difficulty, how much are you gaining for selling long-range scanners? Fifteen scrap. How much scrap do you get for one fight in sector eight? At least. Even if it's uh, not enough time, you get like 30 scrap or something, right? Like, the 15 scrap you get for selling it, to me, is not worth nearly as much as a chance at getting a ship fight that you might otherwise miss. That's my reasoning for keeping long-range scanners going into Sector 8. Be proud of my cursing. All right, I'll, I'll try. I'll try to be more proud, I guess. This guy's gonna board me. Okay, uh, shift SS5. Uh, okay, let's go here. Uh, trying to micro crew in between pop-ups while also killing a ship. God, these pop-ups are so annoying. Stop it. Let me goddamn deal with the frickin' borders game. Break here. Hey, Rand, we want to surrender. Hey, Rand, can we surrender? Oh, by the way, we want to surrender. Oh, but we're also going to board you. And also, oh, and also, hey, Rand, hey, Rand, FTL is like a child bugging its mom to say I want a toy from a store or something. Could you, could you let me get my shopping done, FTL? You're not going to eat dinner tonight if I don't get my shopping done, so stop bothering me. Jeez. I swear, these children won't... Children. 
children. Pay attention, Rand, I know. Hey, I uh, don't have to keep scanners if you never buy scanners. <laughs> True. True. Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, power and value points, I guess. Today I learned Rand would make a great mom. <laughs> What's up in powers? How are you doing? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd be such a great mom. I would love your kids, huh? <laughs> we have a lot of parents in the chat, it sounds like. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Damn, that is the worst weapon to stay online. We might take damage here. Ah, that sucks. Dodges were not good enough. These dodges were too good. Don't worry, Rand, you still be better at parenting than my parents. Oh, that's just sad. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, Left in Power's video about the FTL iceberg. Good content, huh? Can you give us? Can you give us who hasn't seen it a TLDR of what an FTL iceberg is? Hey, double reward, a small bomb. Might actually want to use that phase one to get some crew kills potentially. The pestering never ends when you have kids. Yeah, I'm sure. You j literally just watched the FTL Iceberg video this morning. Well, maybe someone needs to link it in chat so I can watch it later. Somebody posted, I was like Madman, or somebody posted a shiznit posting FTL video yesterday. Just a bunch of memes and stuff. I watched like 30 seconds. I was like, okay, I can't. That's, that's enough for me. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not that one. I don't think that was M who made that though. Hacking. Okay. okay. Hacking down. All right, have my dodges back up. Uh, there's the link. Okay, cool. Did that work? There we go. FTL Iceberg Explained. Okay. It's about the layers depth of FTL gameplay lore. Starts with the top, you know, the basics, going through hacking, depowering, Masala, and other deep tactics steps. Oh, okay, okay. So it's like a, a deep dive into FTL highest level of tactics kind of thing? That sounds cool. Gameplay and lore mixed with community memes and history. Very cool. Check it out. Give him power some follow and love. A map. Well, I already had one of those. It'll always be impressive to you how this game seamlessly blends exploration and combat music as you enter and exit fights. Yeah. Funny enough, you just DM'd me the meme video as an example of what, if in the distant future, become popular enough to get an editor or highly edited FTL videos could look like. Yeah, is that the one that I watched like 30 seconds of yesterday and was like, I, I, this is not for me. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Thanks, Rand. I'd probably like it, might learn a thing or two. You definitely learned a lot when you were making it. Nice, nice. It's 45 minutes, which is a little long. And I usually don't like watching FTL tactics videos. But, because that's like, you know, during research on work when you're not at work. Who wants to do that? <laughs> Probably there are some people who do that. But uh, I, I'll occasionally watch like a Mike Hopley video or something if it's on a, on a strat that I need to learn or get better at. So, yeah, maybe I can watch at two times speed. Good idea. I just love how the gameplay that M showcases during the video is M's gameplay. 
There are like 50, th 50 things he M covers in the video. It's very punchy, quick moving, nice. I probably will check it out. You are the weirdo that likes to watch stuff about work when you're not at work. I mean, I guess you could say that about singing stuff, because I'll watch singing videos on YouTube when I'm not at work singing, but... Uh, I think I want all my drone parts. Like FTL... I, and I'm sure there's plenty I could learn, but it's like, oh man, I just got done doing this for six hours. Do I want to watch more videos about this thing that I just did for six hours? Uh, what do I want to do here? Value point no two, and then I probably get force shield here. I often don't get force shield. I kind of do need power for my drone control, but I probably am far enough ahead that I get force shield and enough power to make it work. It's more than just tactics too, and touches a lot of stuff. Okay, sounds like I definitely need to watch it. You code at work, then you go home and code there too. All right. Four shields. I'm just gonna hack piloting against these auto scouts. Oh man, am I gonna kill my drone? Okay, good. You didn't. Trying to reactively cloak here. Okay, good. Ethan's run doing his job. Rand, if I completely change one of FTL's core game mechanics in an unspecified way, would it still be balanced? So you're, so you're trying to ask a question you know is going to be annoying, right? And I think that's what you're doing. Like, if I list, if I listed all the things that chat does that annoys me, <laughs> it'd probably be a really long list, but probably the two things that would be at the top of the list would be, hey, I was just gone for 20 minutes and I just came back. What did I miss? Or, I was just gone for 20 minutes, I come back and you have a defense drone. How did this happen? That's that's one of the annoying ones. Uh, the other one would be, hey, if I changed a unspecified game mechanic in a strange way, how would it affect the balance of FTL? I don't know, I don't know. That's a really deep and interesting question. Let's do a deep dive on this thing that I don't care about. I mean, that's totally a really an interesting and insightful question. It's really deep and insightful. It really is, and I'm glad you asked. So glad you asked. I'm totally not being really snarky and sarcastic right now. Oh, fuck this game, man! Fuck this game! Uh, drone putting in a shift today, yes. Our defense drone has been putting in some, some work. Um, have you ever tried suing the car towing people for towing your car legally? I haven't ever tried it. I should, I should look into totally doing something like that. Oh my god, he almost got out, actually. Your message had the exact intended effect. Well done, good job. Good job annoying me. <laughs> Where's Bilbo? We might need an It Depends emote. There you go. It's a very provocative question that I'm really glad you asked. This is me being very, I'm, I'm very glad you asked that very insightful question that I've not heard 5,000 times before. Let's talk about it. Hey Rand, is how good is a scrap recovery arm? You should totally get it. By the way, he just took over my repair station right as I was trying to go there. So I guess I'm glad I don't need repair that much. Um, six hour stream of how annoying chat is. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Let me count the ways. <laughs> Startles you how fast the whole laser projectiles are, huh? Can I ask why the first point is so annoying? Stream can be five to six hours. Not everyone can be here all the time. Maybe you, not yourself, have to answer the what happened question. You've just got back. What, what have I missed? Why the first point is so annoying? Uh, which was the first point? Hey, we got level 302 for no cost. I'm ar I already forget which question you want me to expound upon why it's annoying. I already forget. Uh, Re-answering the same question over and over? Oh, the I was 20 minutes away, what happened? Why is that annoying? Because it happens a lot. Uh, because 
Because if a viewer really wanted to know, it's like two clicks away to check the VOD. Because check the VOD exists. That's the real reason, I guess. All right, I need to crew kill this if we want to actually get full reward here. So my answer is going to be because check the VOD exists. And if you don't know what check the VOD is, somebody in the chat can tell you what check the VOD is. Thank you for the gifted sub, show. You appreciate that, man. Uh, what did I hack? She is. Okay, I need some fires. I want the repair drone to not be able to do anything here. Trying to get this crew kill without doing too much hole damage. It can be very difficult. I don't have mind control. Okay, there we go. That's good. Oh, that door being stuck open made that breach be huge. That was actually really good there. Um, trying to get another breach or a fire here. All right, sorry, you, you you like to post a lot of walls of texts, uh, Commodore Paul, so give me a second. Give me a second. I'm trying to play a video game right now. Um, okay, if he goes to repair this and gets stuck on this door, this might still be the crew kill. Dolphin has 8,000 what happened, what happened, what happened commands. That's all stupid sarcastic answers for what did I miss type of shenanigans. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure there are many streamers who are annoyed by similar things and have similar responses to questions like why things are annoying. Uh, I get you as a streamer getting a question often, what happens annoying? I guess the solution is not the streamer has to answer the question. Some from the chat is happy to answer. Yes, mods answering the question is usually the best answer, probably, yes. What's up, Lobso? Yeah, I think I am going to do that. I actually am going to let him repair this. Because there's a difference between getting 30 scrap from not enough time and potentially like 60 scrap. So I am. Um, I'm just going to I'm gonna turn off hacking so that it doesn't have the repair speed time. And he did run out of drone parts. So I, what, my, what I think is going to happen, chat, and why I'm doing this is after he finishes repairing, finishes repairing that, he's going to run here. I'm going to lock the door. Then he's going to try to run back to heal bay, but be stuck on this door and die to the venting. That's my that's my hope of what the this guy is going to do, and he won't get through in time. If that doesn't work, then I've just wasted this time, and we don't get the crew kill. It's whatever. But it's fine. There it is. Does it work? Depends on if he gets through the door or not. Calculated. Wow, and I only got 42 scrap for it. That was not what I was hoping for there. You know a couple of streamers that hate talking about ads? Yeah, all right. Calculated. I mean, I, I don't hate talking about certain things, but when you get asked uh, the same question over and over, it can be can be tedious answering it over and over. So I, there are not a lot of things that I hate that chat does, but that there are things that are slightly annoying. So there you go. I know it's a huge scrap reward. So huge. And if you want to know th what things that chat does that does that I do actually hate, it's uh, the very specific trolls. There are actually things I do hate. Or basically harassment. Those are the things I hate. But thankfully it's like one or two people that does that. So I don't have to worry about that too much. I was ripped off. I was totally ripped off for sure. Fuck! 
Fuck you can you, see Hayden man. talking about ad breaks and how it's awkward because you basically say to your audience, I want you to guys stay here and earn me money. Watch this for me. I'm going to go get a snack. I don't know. To me, having watched Twitch for years, the only thing that I dislike streamers talk about when it comes to ads is when they are trying to like exploit their viewers for for ad income like like trying to have as many ads as possible and never talking about it to me I appreciate when a streamer is up front and said hey I'm going on break if you stay and watch the ads that supports me if you don't I'm fine with it, but if you want to support, like, that's what I like. Lethal Frag does that kind of thing. I just want people to be upfront about it. But it annoys me when people try to, you know, exploit or milk their, uh, their viewers for as much re revenue as possible. All right, so we want to crew kill as much as possible, phase one. I'm going to let the hacking drone through and hopefully have a safe place to jump back to if we get a bad hack. What is more annoying, YouTube or Twitch? Uh, it depends. <laughs> depends on what's happening at that point, at that time of day. I don't know. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, totally, as a viewer, the streamer can do whatever he wants, but you can see why some streamers just feel guilty at all about showing even one ad, huh? <laughs> Come on with these fucking dodges, man. Okay, at least one of those is hitting. So I wanted to get my best chance at a... F wow. Wow, how many dodges they just... I hit him once in the shields with no shields with seven shots? Six shots. Okay, I'm pretty sure I just got effed by their dodging, which is pretty bullshit. Good job, Neo. Good dodges. Oh, Jesus Christ. These fucking dodges. Okay, well... I'm getting, like, no crew kills phase one here. This is fucking stupid. Need to wait for the next cloak. At least my cloaking's up in time for the missile. Fuck that. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Let's just go all in on shield this time. There we go. All right, we got a couple kills there. Oh, man, I need, like, a side room bug if I'm going to get any crew kills here. Jeez. Mm, that time I hoped he was going to dodge one when we get a fire. That was a really bad phase one. You might think, but Rand, you only took one damage. Yeah, but I got, like, two crew kills, which is terribly bad. You know, one guy has maximum ads and banned talking about it in chat, even banned the work ad. I don't know what that means. A word ad. Dreaming is a job, so do what you got to do. Be like the way I handle ads. Thanks. I don't like you can stop ads anyhow, because Switch makes you have ads unless you're not affiliate. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, hack filing is okay in this play place. There are alternatives not watching ads. Sabre get turbo. You do turbo. Can recommend. You block origin. I'm not going to talk about ad blocking because I'm not supposed to. Okay. Uh, Alright. What do we got? 24 scrap. Um, hopefully he never gets a boarding drone. I hope I get some crew kills phase 2 because phase 1 was not ideal. I can just turn this on and wait, because I don't need to jump away here. But yeah, there was a, I think it was a League, League of Legends or Hearthstone streamer or something that, it seemed like they just ran ads on cooldown, and that, that, that to me, is seems like the most scummy thing you can do. Just as many ads as possible, and I'm just like, I, I don't even want to watch a stream that does that. Like, I understand you got to have some ads, but, like, if you're big enough where you get enough ad revenue that running ads a lot makes you a lot of money, then you're probably already making a lot of money from the amount of subs and views you're getting anyway, so. This feels scummy to me when I see streamers running just non-stop ads all the time. Oh, we got some fires finally. I think we're 500 bits. Oh, this will... Got a breach. Oh. 
That should be another crew kill, or two, maybe. Oh, there's some fires. That's what I wanted to see. That is what I wanted to see. Okay. He'll be able to board us with one guy now. We finish him. Okay. I'm trying to time that a little bit better. I wanted to make sure I didn't... If I killed those guys when they... The last two guys were in the side room. We actually got side room bug and had no no crew on their ship next phase, which was not would not be ideal. But he should only be able to board us with one with mind control. That was a very, very good phase two. Very, very good phase two. Uh, adds need to be time to the content. Otherwise, it's scummy. I agree. I agree. I mean, just... I mean, I'm, of course, going to like the way I do it because it's the way I do it. Just... just Put ads when you are on break. But that's not enough if you don't take enough breaks. It's probably why some people don't, uh, you know, want to do more ads or whatever. But, you know, it's whatever. More money equals a happy streamer, though. I'll be honest, JML, unless you're a streamer who has experience with ad revenue, I don't even know how much money I make in ad revenue. I don't even know. Like, so I don't even know if it's even worth running ads. But anyway, uh, let's stop talking about ads and let's finish this run. So we turn on defense drone and beam drone. We deal with the boarding drone. Not uh, boarding drone. The one border. Uh, what room do I not care if they're attacking? Maybe something like this. Okay. You hate when the ads interrupt the stream? Yeah, and I w what I wish I could do is make it so that I don't have pre-rolls at all, but I don't have control over that, except for when I re on a run an ad break, it turns off pre-rolls. So, all right, here we go. Damn, that was the one guy I should have actually moved. Oh, well. And a double fucking fire in my weapons. Amazing. Move this time out with the hack with the missile. Perfect. Let me fucking hit him! Come on, Three. man! Could you give me a goddamn break, you cheating ass mother effing? Let's not let our human die. Okay, stop trying to kill yourself, human. Okay, auto fire. Okay, well, he killed himself. Oh no, the mind control killed him. Uh, that should be GG. Death by beam drone? Alright, beam drone's helping, chat. GG cookie time, NGA. Revenge, kind of revenge from when it ended our last 24 streak. You know, Twitch ads, like Ryan Gosling. Okay, I don't know. I missed whatever that was. Thanks for subscribing. A lot of memes in chat going on. All right, so that is six in a row, chat. Six in a row and NGA down. Oh, we got a... Oh, there was the poll. And Wham Bam Bully with 48 months in a row. I missed it. 48... Was that four years? Holy shnikes. Thank you for the four years of support, Wham Bam Bolo. That is amazing. Let me get... Let me get this going here. So that is NGA win. Check the score. 56.49, not bad. And I'm pretty sure we had a lot of free stuff because that felt like even higher. Yeah, 276 scrap free stuff. Good run there. You never said anything bad against Beam Drone. Okay. Didn't lose anybody. Randy, you should do yourself a favor and determine where your revenue comes from. You can learn, lean into it and pay for rogue towings. Thanks. I'm probably not going to do that. Sounds like too much work. Uh, Discord poll asks the community how they want ads. Do most people for 90 seconds every 30 minutes. Yeah, but that that make I don't like that. 90 seconds every 30 minutes means there's going to be ads during gameplay, Gamer Penguins, and I don't want I don't ever want to have ads. I don't ever want to force ads during gameplay because then that would punish people who are not um, subbed or whatever. So, all right, I'm just gonna send you to the restroom. Y'all feel free to grab a drink, grab a snack, sneak it. Speaking of ads. If you want to stick around and watch ads, it's forced me to the stream, and I won't do any gameplay during the ads, but when I come back, we will continue. Do another run, Yarox. Need a bit, my friends.